I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial on painting with the Art History brush in Photoshop. Before you start painting in Photoshop I suggest you open and crop your image and then fix any problems with it. I wanted to remove the no parking sign, recolor the jacket thrown across the horse's saddle and also recolor the gentleman's shirt. The image too looked a little bit too cold for me. It was shot in late afternoon and I wanted to give it an afternoon warmer light. So this is what the image now looks like. It's fixed and it's ready to be turned into a painting. Now because I've cropped this image I need to save it, close it and reopen it before I can use the Art History brush. Now this is a critical step. The Art History brush will not work if you've cropped an image and you haven't closed it and reopened it. So it's really important. Save, close, reopen your image and then things are going to work just fine. Now to paint this image I need a couple of copies of this fixed layer. So I'm just going to drag them onto the new layer icon and then I'm going to rename them. The first one underpainting and the second one the paint layer. Now I'm not using a paint layer at this stage so I'm going to turn its visibility off select the underpainting layer and then make sure that I have the art history brush selected. It shares a palette position with the history brush tool. Now I need to remove the contents of the underpainting layer. To do that I'm going to press Ctrl or Command A to select the layer, backspace or delete to remove its contents and then Ctrl or Command D to deselect the selection. The Art History brush won't work unless you tell it where the source is going to be and you're going to get this stop symbol which is why I've let it happen because it's invariably going to happen to you. When you see this symbol what you need to do is to point the Art History brush at where the layer pixels were. Now the underpainting layer was the first duplicate layer that we created so it's this one here. If I click here I'll set the source for the Art History brush being this duplicate layer and I'm ready to go. I'll just select a nice big brush, not being too fussy about my brushes right now but you will want to be a little fussier. I'm using the square bracket key to just enlarge the brush and I'm just painting in the underpainting layer. And all I'm concerned about here right now is just getting coverage. It doesn't matter what it looks like, just coverage is the important thing. Having done the underpainting I'm now ready to do the same thing on the paint layer. We'll select the paint layer, we'll enable its visibility so we can see it. We're going to remove its contents with Ctrl or Command A to select the layer contents, backspace or delete to remove them and then Ctrl or Command D to deselect the layer. We have the Art History brush selected and again we're going to get this stop icon unless we tell it where the source data is and this is in the second duplicate layer. So let's just click here. I'm going to choose a much smaller brush this time too. I'm going to choose a nice little soft brush. And if it's not small enough again I'm going to use the square bracket keys to make it smaller or larger as I need to. And as you can see I'm just shrinking the brush as I'm painting and the smaller I make the brush the more detail I'm getting in my painting. And all I need to do is to just continue to paint over the image. And the more I paint, the more detail I'm going to see. Now this could be a process that might take you half an hour or an hour on a particular image. I'm trying to do it in a very, very short period of time. So I'm just going to shrink my brush right down nice and small so that we can see a bit of detail coming through. You want to compromise with your brush size between the detail and the painterly effect. So too small a brush will give you too much detail so it's going to start looking like a photograph again. Too big a brush won't give you enough detail. And you can use multiple paint layers if you want to. Just make extra duplicate layers. Do exactly the same as we did for deleting the layer contents and then setting the source for the art history brush and then paint over that layer. You might use different brushes on different layers to get different amounts of texture in the important focal part of your image and in the background areas. But you can see with just a few minutes of work what we've achieved is something that looks a lot more painterly than a photograph and we've done it using the Art History brush in Photoshop. 
I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. If you're looking for more of my work, you can find my website at projectwoman.com. I blog on post-production at digitalphotographyschool.com. I produce Photoshop and Lightroom video training for designers at mediabistro.com. And some of my tutorials are featured on Adobe's own support site for Photoshop Lightroom.